Hey, good evening guys. Mark here at Wiccan FPV. I'll make an update here on my FJ. Um, since we're trapped in the house here, I've got nothing better to do. So um, I have worked on some detail and um, also some things I've changed from the previous video and I, I want to go over that. Maybe um, catch it before anybody else um does it um first off the um spot on the roof that i had really bad right here i done away with um one of the guys i talked to on facebook had commented uh the true one-to-one -one fjs are all fiberglass tops so you won't see that rust for sure uh, only the bodies so uh the top is dingy and stuff but i've removed that big rust spot right there and i have also weathered the um, bumpers undercarriage as you can see all the rust here on the bumper even on the winch and i have rusted the uh, rear bumper if I can get it here where you can see it and uh, I have added these little step things all the ones I look up on um, YouTube the real FJ40s they all have these um, now some don't but you know 80% of them that I've seen had this uh, gridded step thing here so I added that And I've also added passenger side window rolled down a little bit and the driver side windows rolled down quite a bit. Um, his is only barely sticking up. Now the way I've done that, uh, I cut the back part of the glass and the front part, as you all know, comes as all one piece okay i had cut it right into right here to where the front part and the back part is separate then i didn't like most people you see don't have this glass but this is a flip glass it's separate from the window so i cut that flip glass out and glued it back in and i had both windows down but um, i think it looks a lot better with the windows being simulated rolled up or down at different heights this looks a little more scale and what i done uh took a saw sawed out the thickness of the window that i wanted and this top edge right here you can take a piece of uh, 600 grit sandpaper and hit it and it'll be real ghostly white when you get done but you can take a lighter and light that edge slightly and the clear will come back so um, that will give you your good clear smooth factory edges um, let me see what else have I done here I've also weathered the uh, undercarriage let me set my camera down get it off the uh, tripod here I've also uh, weatherized all the undercarriage and rusted the uh, hogs heads and rear ends here's a good view of the, of the back now rear ends so um, that's just an update i wanted to uh, share i'm pretty happy with it i'm going to leave it as is um i am going to put the uh, Toyota emblem right there in the grill and the Land Cruiser goes on each side of the fender and the Toyota emblems that goes back here on the back I am going to put those on um, but I will be weathering them to uh, to match all the weathered look of this vehicle so uh, hope you guys enjoyed hope uh, you get some uh, clues or tips for doing yours and uh, I'm ripped to be my first weathering job I'm really uh, 
really happy with it. I'm tickled with, uh, with how it come out. Thanks for watching Mark at Wiccan FPV. And sorry it's called uh, FPV. I've not been doing any FPV in a while. So, uh, uh, oh, and the inner fenders. Um, I checked at a main hobby on the inner fenders and they're just uh, really cheap, clear plastic, like 12 bucks and something. But they was gonna charge me $13 to ship that $12 part. And I said, hell no. Um, I do have the rubber, red rubber boots to go over the shocks and then I'm going to invert those upside down to where the red the rubber corrugated stuff will be at the top. I think it would be a good look. But I'm going to try to fabricate and make the inner fenders myself. So um, maybe I'll make an update once I'm totally done. Once I get the emblems on and the fender wells in to where I'm not fooling with it anymore i'll uh, i'll make another video thank you guys for watching